Hi everyone, this is Sam, one of your Nailchemy educators, and I'm just going to go through and show you how to create this mermaid tail today using Aura Acrylic Gel and the Gel Polish and Gel Paint Rangers. So, to start with, I have pre buffed a stiletto tip, and I've got a form that we're going to be working on to, to create the tail. Now, I'm going to use the white Aura Gel just because it matches the colour of the tip, so when I come to paint it, everything will be an even tone, but you can use whatever colour you want. Okay, so I've placed my bead of aura onto the very tip of the tail, and we're laying over a form so that we can peel it all off afterwards. Now the first step is just to kind of make a circle, really, a large circle, just by pushing the aura gel around. Make sure to keep your brush damp but not over wet. So as you can see there, all we've done is just pat it into a circle. Okay. Now with the end of our spatula, I've just dipped it in some of the liquid so it's not too sticky. We're just going to make a cut and separate the bottom, like so. And that gives us the two sides of the tail that we can then start to manipulate and make into the right sort of shape. Now when doing a mermaid tail, I don't worry too much about both sides being symmetrical. So just mould it into the shape you want. I like to give them a little flick up at the end. Just going to turn it round. I say I don't worry too much about them being symmetrical because the idea is to give them the impression of the tail moving in the water which would mean the tail would not be symmetrical anyway. So as you can see, we've got some shape to the tail there. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. And then we're just going to work on the bit where the end of the tail meets the mermaid body because we want it to be seamless we don't want a big chunk there Okay, I'm just going to blend this bit back slightly so that you can't see so much of a lump there. And there we go, we have a mermaid tail. And we're just going to pop that into the lamp now to cure for 60 seconds. Okay, that's now out of the lamp, so we can gently release that from the foil. You can see there are some rough edges that we will need to sort out. So we're going to pop a bit of kiwi cleanser on it, so that we can go ahead and remove those bits that we don't want. 
We do this because we don't want the sticky layer clogging up our files. For the mermaid tails, um, one of these stick files can be quite handy to get into the little edges. Uh, now we don't actually sell these, but you can get them from your local beauty suppliers. And I'll also be using my nail me file. So we'll start by just going in and refining around the curves of the tail. You do find these sticks do leave a bit of colour transfer, um, but as we're going to be painting it, it doesn't really matter. So you can see it's starting to come down. side it's a bit smoother. Do the other side now. So I don't often use these stick boards, stick files, but they are quite handy for getting into little areas. got a bit of blue tack on a tip holder I'm just going to pop that on there to do the rest okay so I'm going to be using Kelpie from the Poseidon glass collection um, it is a semi translucent glass paint um, so it should give quite a nice effect over the mermaid And that's the reason why I wanted to use white or a gel to sculpt the tail out so that it was all matching colours because otherwise that difference would have shown under the kelpie. We're going to pop that into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds before we give it another coat. Okay, so that's just come out of the lamp. We will give it a second coat. So this colour is a really beautiful blue and it's perfect for a mermaid. I'm just going to cure that in the lamp for 10 seconds. Okay, now I've got two pots of open glitter here. These are just ones that I happen to have in my drawer, but you can use whichever green and blue glitters you have. Um, I've got a cuticle pusher. I'm using the scoop end just to sprinkle some glitter over the mermaid, just randomly. Okay, pop the 
and get a speck on those. Just going to use my glitter brush to brush off any loose particles. And we're going to pop that back into the lamp and we're going to do another 30 second cure on that now. Okay, so now we're going to give it top coat. Always have a separate top coat to use with your glitter and your pigments because if you don't, you're very liable to contaminate your bottle and top coat and then when you go to paint onto a flat colour, you will end up with glitter particles or pigment particles in it and then that won't give you a very good finish. Okay, so we'll pop that into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Okay, and now that's out of the lamp. We're just going to give it a little buff because otherwise the top coat will be too shiny and the silver artisan won't go on it very well. You could use um, builder gel instead of top coat if you wanted to. Right, as long as you give it a buff and it will stick as you need it to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to use a silver artisan paint and we are just going to put curved lines going across the body. Like so. And then we are just going to do the same in the other direction again making them curved because if you curve them they look slightly more like um, scales as opposed to just a crisscross into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds because it's an artisan gel. While that's in the lamp we can clean our brush off so we've got a little amount of base coat on the foil. Just wipe the brush off and then wiggle your brush through the base coat and then wipe it whilst turning it to reshape it and get the gel off. And that's your 8mm brush on clean. Okay, that's now out of the lamp, so we will give it a top coat. There we go, and we'll pop that back into the lamp to cure for a further 30 seconds. And there is your completed mermaid nail. Pop it onto the white background, you can see the shape a little clearer. And you can see when it moves in the light, where you've used the two different glitters and just placed them randomly, it does give a nice sparkle. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks for joining me.